Welcome food lovers to Neri's Kitchen. On today's episode, we are featuring the infamous air fryer. In many households, it's become a staple and a must have to infuse flavor and texture in our meals. With so many brands out there, it's hard to choose which one and that's why we are here on this beautiful Sunday to feature the Pampered Chef Air Deluxe Air Fryer. Our host, Vicky Russo Govea, will be showing us the different features we can use with the Pampered Chef Deluxe Air Fryer, and we'll be demonstrating how convenient and easy it is to use. There will also be different tools and spices to accompany the clean, healthy meals that we can enjoy without the hassle of deep frying. I can't wait to try tasty recipes that will change the game of eating healthy for life. Let's give a warm welcome to Vicky and Coach Rick for introducing us to such an amazing product. <laughs> Hello, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining me. Yes. So we have our uh, Pampered Chef Air Fryer here today, which uh, I've been invited to your show in your kitchen by Rick. Rick approached me about a month ago and said, hey, what do you think about coming on the show? And we tell everybody how awesome this, this unit is. He fell in love with it. He bought one in uh, January. And I said, sure, you know, why not? So. Yep. And uh, ever since I bought one, I always knew I wanted one. I just never knew I mean, who goes and buys an air fryer? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess for a dude, right? Who's going to go buy an air fryer? So thankfully you throw that special out on Facebook and I jumped on it and I can tell you right now that the air fryer has literally changed my life. Yep. It has for sure. So. A hundred percent. And how does it change your life? Time. Um, this unit has no preheat time. So if you want to cook uh, just something as basic as a mini pizza for your kids, they're getting ready for school. You put it in here, you set it for 10 minutes. It's done. Your traditional oven, you're waiting 10 minutes for it to warm up. It's done, it turns off by itself. So if you're busy packing school bags, whatnot, you don't even have to worry about burning your, your uh, pizza. It's all ready for you. So I think you, you'd say the same thing. Yeah. You put. Yeah, and from, from a guy who doesn't have a family, and you know, Jen cooks her own food, and, and now I, I cook mine. Um, the best thing about it is when you meal prep, you know how you got to cook for two, three days. Mm -hmm. By the third day, it's garbage. It's awful. You don't want to eat it yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. So now I just cook fresh every day. I don't, I don't have to meal prep three, four days in advance. So for, for a guy like me, that's, that's the benefit of the year. And for wives, I will attest to you that I've sold many of these to families and this actually gets your husband in the kitchen. So that's a major plus for women. <laughs> so in fact, what's going to happen is you're going to, uh, you're going to do your thing. Yep. And in the background, Jerome, I'm going to cook, uh, some, Chicken, a steak, and I'm going to do my breakfast. So you can come and check me out while I'm doing it too, okay? Today, I'm going to be preparing um, these pork kebabs. Um, these are the seasonings that I've used. These are Pampered Chef seasonings, your bell pepper herb, your three onion, your garlic and herb, and smoky applewood. This is an amazing blend. So I cut it up, and I usually warm, you marinate it for a couple hours in the fridge, and then I load it up on my skewer. So that's what we're going to do here today. It's super quick. You put your meat, you put your meat in here. It's about a 12 minute processing time in the pros in the uh, air fryer. Again, you put it in there, you carry on with your day. You, you know, I don't know, do whatever you, do some laundry while you're at it. And before you know it, it's like you come up, this thing beeps and it's all done without even having to think twice about it. So you just kind of load it up like that. It's pretty super simple. But for me, for like, I'm super busy and I don't really have a lot of free time. Can you actually cook enough food for your family? Let's say a family of four or five. hundred percent. So you look at all this meat in here. I'm going to get probably three quarters of this meat okay. onto this, this, uh, onto this unit. So honestly, I've got a family of four. Mm -hmm. I've got a big man at home. I have a young growing son and a daughter that plays soccer. Let me tell you, we make this food and we've got leftovers for the next day as well. So if that doesn't answer your question, definitely. You're doing a it whole It does meal. because yeah. like I was hesitant on actually getting the air fryer and using it because I thought, you know, it's so small. I can't fit enough food and you know, I need enough food for two or three days worth. For sure. But if Rick was saying that it takes only half the time, you can actually cook it fresh every day then. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, because I mean, okay. fresh is best, but at the same time, even if you were to have like you could actually have enough for leftovers. That's you know, like my husband likes to bring um leftovers to work. So I just make enough. I have enough for dinner and leftovers. So that's that's pretty awesome. Okay. Plus, at the end of the day, we're used to a giant stove. So yes. we just think that we need this huge thing in order to cook four or six chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. When in reality, it, it fits into this air fryer pretty perfectly. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. you, can, you can certainly put in <clears throat> three or four chicken breasts on one tray. And then let's say you're cooking, I don't know, what, what would you, can you air fry broccoli? Yes, okay. yes, broccoli, cauliflower, oh, everything. There's nothing you can't do in here. In fact, uh, Jerome, before you leave, check this out. So I'm just going to show you what I'm starting with, all right? Okay. So how I cook breakfast is I put my turkey bacon in, top shelf. I'm going to start at seven minutes. At the five-minute mark, I'm going to put the toast in. 
And in the meantime, I'm gonna cook the eggs. So within eight minutes, Neri, you're gonna have bacon, eggs, and toast. I like that. Okay, all right, eight stay minutes. tuned. <laughs> well, that's the thing, the key, the key to this unit is, aside from the space, of course, but the key is how much food you're making in how little time. And anybody that has a family, even if you don't have a family, but even if you're just off to work and you don't want to get up an hour before work, you're up like 15, 20 minutes. That time is a thing. In today's society, time is something that we don't have a lot of because we have so much on our plate. So if it's one thing you can do is shave the time off your life by, you know, having your food done in like a quarter of the time. I mean, really, it's, it's a no brainer, really. Oh, yeah. So. And so does this unit, does it come with the air fryer as well? This is the only accessory that doesn't come with the unit. Okay. Um, with the deluxe air fryer, we've got our, um, the, we've got the uh, basket that's for fries that comes with the unit. We have a rotisserie, which you can make a, ro a roasted chicken, which is amazing. You put about a five, six, seven pound um, chicken in there. Mm -hmm. It comes with the rotisserie handle for that. It comes with that and it comes with um, the trays. The trays? So okay. this is the only accessory that you have to buy, but even at that, this is $35. Sometimes you can get them on sale. So, but otherwise you're getting a complete uh, cooking unit with a lot of different options. So that's a nice thing too. So Vicky, tell me how has this air fryer changed your life? To me, it's time. Like time? the biggest thing is time because I, like I said, I'm always, you know, got so many different things on the go. Also, my daughter's 13 and, you know, she gets home from school. She lets her and her brother in. The idea that I don't have to rush, because usually kids are really hungry when they get home from work, mm -hmm. from school, right? Right. And the idea that I can trust her being, using this machine, knowing that she's not going to forget the oven on, because like last summer, I didn't have this last summer. So the kids were home and, you know, I tell her, you know, I'm, I'm walking her through it, you know, trying to, you know, put the pizza in. I'm calling her. I put an alarm on my phone to call her to make sure the oven is off. Those are things I don't worry about anymore. Okay. Because now I know that she's cooking food for her and her brother, and I know that it's turning itself off. I'm not worried about like anything happening at home, like, you know, a hazard in the kitchen. So to me, that was actually why I originally bought it, to mm -hmm. be honest, because I was, uh, beginning of the year, I was treating myself to some upgrades in my kitchen, and I thought, you know, the air fryer would be really great for the kids um, because she's getting old enough. And right. I originally just bought it for chicken fingers. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I figured chicken Who doesn't like chicken fingers, chicken right? Chicken fingers, <laughs> fries, wings, things that, you know, my daughter could cook on her own, maybe my husband or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was my main reason for doing it. And little did I know that I was going to be able to cook all this like really amazing meal, like these meals, right? Right. So that, this is kind of a surprise to me because I didn't buy it with this whole introduction of what I could do to it. I bought it just for simple things like, you know, like I said, chicken fingers and fries. But as it's turned out, that is how it's changed my life. Because now my 13-year-old daughter can cook food for her and her brother, and then this whole other element of cooking really good food in like a fraction of the time. And I like how it's actually really crispy because we've actually tested it with fries, and it's so crispy, and it's taken only, what, 10 minutes to cook fries? Yeah. Versus the oven, which would take about 30 minutes from scratch. Right. And let's face it, when you're cooking fries in the oven, you're, you're opening up the oven. Oh my goodness, You're like yes. tossing them around, half yes. of them getting mushy, right? Yes. So that's why they're done. You know, it's like, no wonder everyone wants to go to AW for fries, right? Yes. But you literally, and you'll see, you take them out of this machine, and every four sides of that fry, Mm -hmm. It's like as crispy as it would be if you were paying, you know, five bucks for small little portions, so 100%. Well, I can tell you how it's changed my life because actually ever since we've had the air fryer, rg has been cooking. He's been using the air fryer like three or four times a day for fun. And yeah. now he's making his own food. He made all of his breakfast already. It's in the fridge. So it's it's actually saved a lot of time for me. Oh, for sure. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So you answer your question, can you cook for a family? Well, if he cooks for himself, but all you gotta do is cook for your kids, that solves that problem, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you this, to what changed for me was my confidence in the kitchen. So I never really I never really tried spices. I wasn't about trying to make things super delicious. It was mm -hmm. just, you know how we eat, right? Simple, basic, get it done, yes. and just fuel the body. Yes. But ever since I got the air fryer, what I started to realize is instead of worrying about the temperature of the stove and preheating it and never getting it right, and I could never get a chicken breast to be perfect, it was mm -hmm. always like turned into a rubber mat or something like that. Same with the steak. But with the air fryer, it changed all that. And now what I'm starting to get confident with is spices. So, Jerome, just so you know, I'm going to. In one of the air fryers, I'm going to cook up some chicken breast. And all I did is put olive oil, and then I used some spices. And spices can be whatever you want. Like, I just usually give it a sniff test, and if I smell it and be like, ah, I can associate that with steak, I put it on. If I can associate it with chicken, that's how I put it on. And it's never let me down. Every one of them has been really good. So all I'm doing is coating it, and then I'm going to throw in the air fryer for 18 minutes. Okay, but I wonder, I mean, this is a Pampered Chef air fryer. So what's the difference between this Pampered Chef air fryer versus other air fryers? 
Size is one size? of the key. Size okay. because of how much you can make, um, and then because of the depth that you can see inside here. Right. You can put like this. You're gonna just like. So how do you do that? So this one just hooks in here. So this one just hooks in here. Oh. Okay. Now if you can visualize a roasted chicken as well. We're not demonstrating a chicken, but if you can visualize the fact that you've got a five to seven pound chicken in there that like literally I mean is cooking in a small little unit that you don't have to worry about. Usually when you're cooking a chicken, you have to put it in the oven and check on it from time to time. Yes. So there, the idea that you can fit a whole chicken in there and not worry about it is basically for me, yeah. uh, what makes this unit so much different than some of the other ones. And also because it because it has a rotisserie function, all of the, all sides cook evenly, so all sides are getting that oh, nice crispy. Oh, okay. Because as opposed to some of them where they just sit in a basket and right. the bottom is still kind of wet, right? The outsides are crispy. So, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna just put the functions. So you can see as you turn it, it gives you the different functions. Air fry, bake. Air fry gives you basically a different temperature. Bake is giving you 350. Roast is giving you 375. So basically they just sort of give you some custom settings. So you don't necessarily have to be roasting something, mm -hmm. but if you wanna cook something at 375, it's already preset. Then you put it to rotisserie, and we're gonna, then you push the button in, and then you just turn it to your time. We're gonna cook this for about 14 minutes. If you have, you can see I really stuffed it. Right. So we're kind of uh, gonna increase the time a little bit, but sometimes if you spread it a little bit more, it takes a little less time. Mm -hmm. So this we're gonna go for 14 minutes. 14 minutes. And we're just gonna push the button in, and it's gonna start to turn. If you turn the light on, you can see oh, it so you can now see it's turning. It. Okay. It's beautiful. Oh, I do see it really. Yeah. 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 Perfect. So, that's, so basically you're bringing like your oven to your counter, and so it's, it's I mean, who doesn't know how to use their oven? So that's the nice thing. You can look in there, and it's like the same experience as the oven with like a fraction of a ton. Okay, I yeah. love that light option because the one that we had before, there was yeah. no light, so I, I was always opening my air fryer like every two minutes to see if things were done or not. Yes, for sure. Okay. Oh, this is great. It's, it, like I said, you can peek on it. The light will turn off, so the nice thing is that the light's on. It's not wasting your bulb for too much time. Mm -hmm. It's just lit, lit enough for you to see, but then it automatically turns itself off. So that's kind of a nice function too, so you're not uh, wasting too much energy. That's another thing too. If you were gonna be making like a roasted chicken for an hour, or a rotisserie kebabs in your oven. You've got that, you've got your oven on for like an hour, right? Yes. At least, plus your preheat time. So if you're conscious of the environment and energy and saving on your bills or whatever, you've got a unit here that in 15 minutes, that's the maximum amount of energy you're gonna be using mm -hmm. compared to if you were headed in the oven. So see the light just turned off? And so again, you're saving energy. Oh, I do. Okay, so it's so automatic. Automa everything is automatic about this thing. That's the nicest thing, so, yeah. It's really easy. So yeah, I think energy is another um, key component for why something like this mm -hmm. is good in your kitchen. Okay, eggs are almost done. Let's go over here. We're down to one minute in the air fryer, and uh, I guess I'll show you. Look at that. Fact, we're going to start right there. We're going to start right there because it looks all so perfect. So we're going to put that back in. Now we get the toe is just a little bit more crispy. Here's something unique. This. Lesson learned the first way, the hard way. You're going to try to grab that for the first time. No, you're going to bring your finger. But after that, you'll never do it again, I promise. Get yourself a set of thongs and tongs. And that'll solve them. That'll solve Actually, them. Rick, what you haven't bought from Pampered Chef is these thingies. Ooh, what are those? So these are silicone mats. They're made from Pampered Chef, too. So I'm just going to go in and interfere with your cooking no, a little fine. bit. You there you go. Right. So now you're basically going in there without burning your hands, and voila! So you need to get yourself a set of these. Can you pull it out? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just use it. There you go. Okay. Let's practice with Are those so heat sinks though? Those, uh, are those, oh, they're silicone, minutes. yeah. Those okay. are made specifically for your air fryer. And the reason they're small like that is so that you can get into the little tray. Oh, okay. like a big set of mitts? Yes. Yeah. Crispy toast, scrambled eggs. Tell me how, about, how bad how you can do that in seven minutes. You can't even get that through McDonald's in seven minutes. Oh, yeah. See, what I like about that breakfast, Rick, is that you didn't use a lot of pans. Because when I'm making breakfast for the family, I, know. I have like three different pans. I have my toaster over here. I have so much stuff. Yeah. And I like how you didn't make that big of a mess. <laughs> you should see, like, you should see my kitchen. It is such a clean kitchen, and I rarely use, uh, what do you call it, like a pan? What do you call it? A pan, a frying pan. Oh, yeah. utensil? Like just always, stuff, right? Stuff. I, I don't have anything. Everything is just cooked in here. And as yeah. you learn, I'll learn how to put more stuff in the air fryer. I just don't know yet. Like, I mm. don't know. You can put eggs in there. I just haven't tried it yet. You so. know, I've seen someone put boiled eggs in there, actually. And they, it came out, and it was actually, like, cooked, right? Mm -hmm. There was no explosion, and it was a fully cooked boiled egg. Yeah. Yeah. I've never tried it, though. Come over here, Joe. 
So we got the chicken breasts in here. Look how good they're already starting to look. That's only four minutes in. So we actually just spread them out a little bit. I don't, what do you, what and do you remember, to Nari's question, if you were using a second tray up in there, if you had a bigger family, you could you could still fit one more chicken breast on there, yeah. and another tray with another four. So you could be making eight chicken breasts in the same amount of time. That's what I needed to know. Was like, yeah. can you cook eight chicken breasts in yeah. there? One hundred percent. So I mean, I was going to cook a steak. I just decided I'm not going to do it. Um, so you could easily stick. I mean, you know, if you're going to spread them out. You could for sure put the chicken and the steak. You know, like you could probably get two more. Yeah, you get five breasts on one. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you could sure. cook ten breasts in total if you wanted to. Yeah. But who wants to have too much? That's chicken? too much chicken. You, know? you want it as fresh as possible exactly. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. But like you said, though, if you've got a family of four, that's five true. Or six, yeah. That's a nice thing. So this unit's not just for like the single person or the the newlywed couple, right? Mm -hmm. it, you just there you go. <laughs> Awesome. So let me ask you this, since, since we got Vicky here, yeah. where do you cook? So we have two shells. Yeah. So what I started to learn is that uh, if you wanted to cook a little bit hotter, you'd probably yeah. go to the top shelf, right? Yes, the top is always going to be the hottest, So which is why you always have to rotate. So if you were doing two levels right now, halfway through you're going to rotate. Yeah because the top is always going to get that crispier function because it's like a convection oven. It's just like a convection oven where the air is rotating. So you need to make sure that the food has the equal access to the different parts of the so unit. So how am I supposed to remember halfway through? Well, it's going to beep halfway through. So how long did you time Is that automatic? It'll beep halfway? 18 minutes. So at nine minutes, so at nine you're nine just minutes. going to get a little beep. So here's the thing. You're outside, the kids are on the swing set playing or whatever, and you've gone to start at dinner, right? If you, Let's say you forgot to you know come in and rotate it or whatever. This unit is going to turn right off. Or maybe you're folding laundry halfway through you're going to get a beep. You're going to get one little beep when it's halfway through. It's like, oh, boom, i got to get up, rotate my trays, boom. And then, so literally, you don't have to worry about being distracted or anything like that. Okay. And for me, what's going to happen is I'm going to put this in. I'm going to go back to my TV and start watching YouTube videos. And I would completely forget about it. But thank God for the beep. So whatever your situation is, you'll yep. get that beep to remind you. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I like that safety feature then. Yes, 100%. The shut up and the reminder of turning it halfway through. Um, that's, what makes, that's what makes this unit so amazing. You know, because it, it does help you out that way. But what's the difference easy. between this unit and, let's say, um, the old school, uh, what's it called? Toaster oven, Toaster right? oven? Isn't it the, the same thing? The size? It comes, it's, it's size, really. And those old toaster ovens are little dials, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it, we're in a technology, you know, society. People love gadgets, right? Yes. They love to play. They love to be able to do these kind of little functions. Yeah. So, size. Um, the idea of being able to customize the time, like these are these are pre-customized, but you can, if you want 325, then you yeah. just customize the dial to that. Where those toaster ovens, they're they're dialed and mm -hmm. they're just one level. So True. this is potentially three levels. Okay. And it all comes back to how can you maximize what you can cook in that small amount of time. And that's what this unit does compared to some of those other ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then for and then for timing, I was telling you earlier when I got here. For people that are very insecure in the kitchen, you know, they don't even use their oven. So they have an oven and stove at home, but they don't even use it. Because like Rick was saying, the confidence level, how long do I cook stuff? How do I spice it? Well, this unit comes with this cooking guide. If you don't want to get too fancy, you know, you're not getting too excited, frozen foods, all your popular frozen foods like pizza, chicken fingers, fries, all everything is there to air fry it. Which tray do you use it on a tray? Do you use it in the basket? The rotisserie. Then you turn the page, roasted vegetables. It's a, an exact guide of what to do. Chicken, fish, and seafood. So you could be like the total idiot in the kitchen. And this, again, this unit and the book and everything it comes with makes your life super easy. Why is it a life changer? That's why. Because it's literally helping out in all, this, so many ways. This will become your new life. Yeah. yeah. Everything you reference now cooking. Let me take a look at that. Little, <laughs> little book. Yeah. yeah. And it covers everything. And you can and make recipes. hand pies. Look, yeah, you can make hand pies. In there too. Oh, recipes. You can bake in this unit. You can bake cakes. You can bake cookies. Bread. You can dehydrate. You know, some of our healthy, conscious families that want to dehydrate apples, bananas. Um, they've got even a uh, they've got a tray right now. You can make like fruit roll-ups. So if you're the type that isn't wanting sulfites for your family, mm -hmm. all those additives, they, they've got a dehydrating function on here. So it's really the cat's meow. It's there's nothing that I don't think it won't really do. To be honest with you. Okay. Almost real. Come on over here. We're at the 10 minute mark. It's going to beep in about a minute. Yeah, so beep it right there. So There's your beeping sound. Yeah. That is your notification so to your rotate. So basically, what I would do is I would. How I would cook my chicken, actually, if you go back up here, Joel, I'm going to take this over here. Remember, I'm always using the tongs. This is when I would reapply a little more spices. Right here. I like how your chicken doesn't even look dry. It actually looks moist, oh, though. Wait. Oh, yeah. I wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where did you get this chicken? What, what's, your, what seasoning is there? Oh, chili lime and the seasoning salt. 
So this, I don't know, when I smell this, I smell it like it should be on chicken. Uh, yes. And that's yeah. just sort of how I did it. Yeah. Okay, maybe I got some superpower on me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it goes back in. This time now I'm going to put it on the upper tray. Yeah. So You're going to get a little more crisp by being on the upper tray, yeah. which is nice. So look at the kind of nice and juicy there. Look how good it looks. Doesn't it look yeah. really good? I love it. And let's face it, when you're cooking chicken breast on a frying pan, you always get that wetness, right? And oh, then it's kind of like brown. It just doesn't you know, finish properly. It's dangerous. Properly. Like yeah. every time I use a frying pan, I swear I'm always getting burned by oil. And I tell Archie yeah. this all the time. It's dangerous cooking chicken yeah. on a frying pan. Well, and everyone yeah. loves how a chicken breast, tis, uh, chicken breast tastes in a restaurant. It just has that perfect texture and everything. And you can never really seem to duplicate it unless it's on a barbecue or something. Yeah. But the air fryer, you're getting like restaurant kind of quality chicken. As far as barbecue is concerned, as far as steaks, like I'm not going to cook that steak today, but I usually spend a little bit of money once in a while and I get the good steak. You know, the yeah. thick one, a lot of fat in it. And the best steaks I've ever cooked have been in the air fryer. It yeah. comes out perfect. So, they, so if it's on the grill, you're burning it. If it's yeah. in a pan, you're burning yeah. it. Like mm -hmm. burning it on grease or you're burning it on a fire. You can never really get it to be perfect. And for some reason, good luck trying to get the middle to be just a little bit red. Yeah. I don't know. I can never, I've, I've been cooking for years and I am yeah. a grill master. But this thing has been uh, perfect as far. So you never waste your food either. Well, when you talk about steak too, like when you talk about the barbecue, again, there's some really health conscious people, right? They don't even like the barbecue for the carcinogens, everything that bounces back in your food, right? That's in a barbecue. Yeah. Again, this is like seriously your healthiest option for making all kinds of food and you get the finish. So it's it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful product in addition to your kitchen. And uh, like if you like fried chicken, yeah. well, I mean, we all know fried chicken tastes good, but fried you know chicken, what it's getting cooked in, right? That's a winner. Like honestly, the fried Fried chicken, I don't like fat on my chicken. Mm -hmm. I don't like I take the chick the fat off my thighs, but yet when you have that KFC, you kinda like the you like well, it. I like it. But you nice know what? On this thing, if you've got the right batter mix, like I use a flour kind of a mix in there, and you get that same finish. Because it's just something about the way it it cooks it on the outside. It gives you that layer of crisp. It's yeah, fried chicken is another one in my family. Chicken wings. Anybody that makes chicken wings in here, like there's there's no going back. You'll never make chicken wings another way. Chicken yeah. thighs, never. You guys like chicken thighs? I love chicken thighs. That's the best. Yeah. You'll never have a in the in there. Yeah. Here. Okay. Put a little bit of oil, right? And that's what's good. And a little. You can also add a little mayonnaise to it. To oh, that's mayo. What, that's what's gonna crisp. Yeah. So that's that takes over the uh, the oil that you or the batter. Okay. You know? And then for whatever reason, through the magic of the air fryer, it somehow will uh, crisp the skin and it's crunchy. So it's even more crunchy than you would have, like say, KFC or. Another thing I wanted to add is uh, when you asked me about why buy this, why buy this unit? Yes. You know, I know a lot of people will say, you know, I've looked on Amazon, I've looked on Costco, whatever the case may be. This unit, the nice thing about buying a Pamper Chef product, you have your consultant, right? Mm -hmm. um, you call up your consultant and you say, you know, well, which you have potentially some consultants here on your hands. You call up your consultant and you say, you know what, my air fryer, I know something's going on with it, doesn't sound right. What do I do? They're not calling you and say, oh, there's this 1-800 number on the back of the book somewhere in, you know, I don't know, Timbuktu, right? right? See what they can do for you. You call me, you call Rick or RJ. We take a quick phone call to Pampered Chef. We give them your order number. If you call within 30 days of your unit having just purchased it, they send you a shipping label, you send it out there. It's been like a two-week turnaround time. That's how quick it is, when they're in stock. So that's another nice thing about buying a unit from here because people are sometimes leery about buying um, electronic products because if something goes wrong with it, then what, right? But, you know, again, that you're getting the complete customer service behind it all. <laughs> and we've got, we've got a lady in the kitchen here. Uh, since we're talking about uh, yeah. Pampered Chef reps, just so you know, me and RJ are officially Pampered Chef reps. Wow. Yeah, guys. So, so. We, uh, we're going to be showing you guys how to cook healthy using the, uh, the air fryer. Yeah, they are here to make your life easier. Thank you for bringing me not so a we have. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's funny you say that, Rick, because we have a few people that are interested in this product, and how can people reserve this? So right now, you can help me with this one to yeah. see if I'm on track. So they're on back order, like okay. everything in COVID is on back order. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right now, the ETA is May. Mid-May, we're hoping, yeah. Mid-May. Yeah. So in order to get on to, or to purchase one, what you're going to have to do is get onto our list, and uh, once they come, become available, we'll notify you, and then uh, we'll order them. The reason why they are on back order, I'm going to tell you January of 2021 was a record sales month. On average, they sell about 20,000 units a month. They sold 60,000. Oh my gosh. So they literally just were not prepared for the search. Mm -hmm. They had a sale on them in January 
and literally they just they, they did a stop sell because they sold so many they didn't know if they had enough inventory so that's why they're on back order because they literally tripled their sales so we're hoping by and they're saying that after seeing how popular the product is because actually this was just this was just launched last August so the buzz is fresh mm -hmm. and I don't think they realized how competitive their product would be and how people would buy into this one so they're saying that moving forward they hope to not have these production issues anymore now that they see the demand for it mm -hmm. um, but yeah mid-May Get your name, email to Rick and RJ. We'll get you on a list. We'll get you some uh, competitive pricing and hook you up and you can share, share, share. So can we talk pricing? Can we give them an idea of what it's going to cost? Yeah, well, you know what? The nice thing about most people are probably not new to, you know, Pampered Chef, Tupperware, you know, like counter parties, whatever. It's one of those things where you've got your regular price. You've got your, like this, this unit regular price is $300. Um, but then again, we can host parties, we can do different things online to bring the competitive pricing to you. We can probably safely get you this unit for 225 because we're going to do some fancy juggling with uh, bulk orders and stuff like that. So we're hoping when it comes back in stock, we're going to be able to get this for our customers for 225 Maybe even lower, but those are some other exciting ways we'll offer. You have to contact us and we'll let you know exactly how you can maybe even get it for less. And so we've been uh, promoting this now for, I don't know, 24 hours, RJ, something like that, and we've already got a list of uh, 10, 10, 12 people. So if you get on that list, you know, I, I guess numbers matter, right? The numbers matter, yeah, yeah, 100%. So, so get on the list. Get on the first list, first guys. First come, first serve. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see this. Okay, so here's our kebabs. Like, how beautiful is that? Can everyone say how, like, wonderful this smells? Uh, it looks uh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, really, that was 14 minutes. Like, honestly, where are you going to make a meal like that for your family? Uh -oh. You could be making like some rice in a rice cooker and like, boom, like dinner is done. Like that doesn't, like it's a Sunday, right? I like how it's not even messy. It's like, it's barely no, dirty at no, all. It's wonderful. And you can just see that all sides are the same. You know, yes. a lot of times when you're cooking something, yes. there's one side that looks good, another side doesn't look so good. So, I mean, really, that's... All you do is take the soap. Yeah. Wash it, put it back in. Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually going to borrow those, Rick, because uh, I forgot to bring something else that I was going to use. So it's pretty easy to dismount. You just kind of lift it. And I'm, just, I'm going to put it on here. Let it cool just for a couple of minutes. And then you just pop them off. And How many skewers was that? One, two, three, four, no, five, six, seven, eight. Eight skewers. No. Yeah, I'm going to use those now. Oh, we should get some plates? Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to, otherwise I'll put it in here. We can oh, put the plates. Yeah, whatever you like. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, oh, oh I don't know. Yeah, no, that's great. No, no, actually we can put in that bowl. You can tell me about that bowl. Okay. This is our um, Pampered Chef, um, this is our insulated bowl. So what I do at home is um, I cook my food. A lot of times my family's not ready to eat. I put it in here. There's a lid that comes in it. This, the food will stay warm in here for two hours. Two hours. Yeah. So everyone, sometimes in my house, everyone's eating at different times. My husband's outside in the yard. My kids are on the video games, whatever. Not everybody wants to sit down. And I like dinner. how it's not a heavy bowl at all. It's actually pretty light. Yeah. It looks Usually heavy. what I like to do is I fill it up with hot water and so it's already kind of piping a little bit nice okay. and warm. But honestly, it's a, a great way because you know what? I mean, if you keep food in the oven to stay warm, what happens? It dries out. Dries. Right? You yeah. put it in here and the texture is the entire is the same. The way you took it out is the way it's going to taste when you take it out, which is which is key. So I mean, that does that not just smell? It looks amazing? so juicy. And I mean, pork tenderloin is one of those things where it can be really dry. So you guys will see for yourself. You probably never had pork taste so juicy ever. I've always had dry pork. That's yeah, my, that's why no, I don't eat pork. This is not. I'm telling you, this is amazing. And my dog, my daughter especially, she's super fussy, and uh, she's fussy about protein. If she could eat like pasta all the time, she would. But she will, she will eat this because there's no fat on it. It's juicy. It's wonderful. It's a little tricky. You can see it's a little bit annoying sometimes, but I'm trying not to mess up your kitchen too much. It actually looks a lot easier than I thought. Yeah. No, looking at it, I thought it was hard to get in, but you just, no, you squeeze just turn the, it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. Oh, of course, the last one is going to give me some grief. There we go. Okay, let's get some plates then. I need to try this. All right. So we got the chicken out. So I got my uh, handy dandy little temperature gauge. You know what the temperature is for chicken? Anybody know? 160? 165. 165. Let's see what it says. 163, 4, 165. Look at that. Wow, he's a pro. Perfect. He's a master. All right, so let's, uh, let's cut it up here. Let me figure out how do I open these dogs? Oh, you just pull it. Pull it yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. So we're going to take it off. 
Normally I let the uh, meat rest for a minute. Let's get here. There you go. Did you get a shot of me in the table? Holy! This should be the thumbnail. All right, check it out. Are you using a pampered chef knife? I think you are. No, look at that. Cuts it like butter. <laughs> no, that's my knife from Canaan Tire. <laughs> I gave you guys a knife yeah, to try. Oh, I guess you didn't try it. Oh. Yeah, because it looks just like that. Look at how nice and juicy this is. It does look juicy. That's awesome. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And you know what? It's so hard to cook chicken breast, too, because it, it turns out dry, right? But that yes. looks very juicy. Look at the oh, yeah. coming out of there. It's not pink juice. Nope. nope. That's perfect. That is a perfect chicken breast right there. Good job, Rick. Yeah. You're a pro. Life changing. You make husbands look bad. Yeah, <laughs> the ones that are in the fire. kitchen. <laughs> so we had a couple of people asking, how does the steak taste in the air fryer? Uh, Rick? God, I'd Rick? like to have more, more words and more vocabulary, but it's perfect. It's perfect? It's literally cooked to perfection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and what I also learned is, instead of using barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. dousing it and putting it on a, on a grill or a barbecue, uh, spices. So check out the spices right here that are in the front. Put that on yeah. your, um, a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. A little olive oil, a lot of spices, and it just brings out a lot of the flavor of the steak. So you really complement the, the flavor of the meat as opposed to drowning it in barbecue sauce. Yeah, and the nice thing, like I was telling Rick, the, the one thing about the pampered chef spices, they're not layered in salt. They don't have a ton of salt behind them. So really the flavor is truly what you see on the label. The chili, the lime, the uh, rotisserie. The sauce, you can just add it for your liking, but that's the nice thing about the product too, people that don't like to This is salt. so juicy. Isn't it amazing? You know, I thought it was going to be a little bit dry because yeah. it's pork, but it's yeah. actually really tender. It's really juicy, mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see the unit too once you take it apart. Like it literally stores in your cupboard really easily because it just because this is how it was screwed in. You unscrew it, you wash it, and it just nicely tucks away into your utensil drawer. It doesn't even take up a lot of room. So they think of everything. Convenience is everything for this company. Okay. All right. Here's the next thing right here. We had drum. Are you? Okay. Let me let me try your chicken breast. I can see the water. The juice is coming out. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it looks tender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's very tender. <laughs> it's not dry at all. No, no, it's great. Mm -hmm. And that was, and the key is that that was a seasoned chicken breast. Nope. A lot of people buy the frozen stuff, yeah. and then that's kind of, the, in my opinion, the cheaters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you I can agree. make, if you can make like the full, the raw chicken breast taste like yeah. that juicy, that's. But you know why people amazing. cheat? Because you can't cook chicken breast. I it's love you. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. So true. why bother wasting it because yeah. it's not cheap? So you it's might true. as well get it. But now, no, yeah. Is there recipes? Is there recipes with the unit? There are, yes, they come with recipes. So the booklet that comes with it, it's like a cooking guide. There's always a recipe. Uh, there's about a handful, five, six recipes. But Pampered Chef is really good about having recipes on their website. So you can actually go to their website if you don't have the booklets and just uh, look them up. Otherwise, you can even Google recipes. I'm not going to lie. You Google air frying recipes, and I mean, they're out there. So, I mean, TikTok. you can get very creative. TikTok. Yes, you're TikToking. TikTok. <laughs> Rick is always on TikTok making all these air fryer recipes. Yeah. Have you been on TikTok? Oh, yeah. yeah. I follow my daughter. That's how yeah, I keep yeah, an eye on her. The best recipes are on TikTok. And I'll tell you why. Because you know when you uh, read a blog mm -hmm. and they got to tell you the 65 years yes. of, of yes. build up to this recipe yes. and what motivated them? Who cares? Right? Yeah. yeah. TikTok, within 60 seconds, they're going to have it cooked for you. They're going to have the ingredients list for you. And then you just rewatch it or, or pause screenshot it. Screenshot it. That's what screenshot. I do. Screenshot it and then you go. So that's the other uh, tip of the day is get onto TikTok for your recipes. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Are we cooked? Do we have everything else? I think we're done. With RJ, the... how was breakfast? I see you got an empty plate. Gone. Fantastic <laughs> meal. Every time. Perfect. Okay, so just to recap, if yeah. our viewers are interested in the Pampered Chef air fryer, they contact Rick and RJ? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. okay. Two yeah. buff dudes. Two buff dudes? Yeah. <laughs> in aprons. In aprons? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, 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 thanks for having me, Neri. I had a ton of fun. Thank you so much, Vicky. I learned so much. Thank you so much, Rick. Well, I learned a lot from made. you too. Dinner yeah, is made. Yeah, dinner yeah. <laughs> Changes my life again. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Bye now. <laughs> see you later.